Chris, show them what you got. No holiday is complete without some. Come heck. Okay, so nightmare situation. Every time I go away somewhere, I always forget like something really important. I've been away to dance competitions and forgot my dance shoes. I went away with Stephen's family and we had everybody's shoes in, in a hold all and um, left the shoe, the shoe bag and no one had shoes on holiday and had to run in flip flops. Um, well, we're pretty much half an hour away from Abbeymore and I have forgot my makeup bag. <laughs> Steven is loving it. He's keep saying I'm bear grilling it this weekend. <laughs> this week. A whole week with no makeup. Um so I don't know like if there's many shops in Aviemore to even like go to a chemist and get a couple of things. I had like looks planned. I was gonna like video and do stuff. I was gonna do a tutorial this weekend. That's not happening. Um Natural look. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Bye. Hey, right, let's do it. You're last. No! Right, his hat, his hat, his hat's off, hat's off. Go, Angie. Forget the gloves on off, the hat's off. Right, we'll see you next week. <laughs> Right, my camera ran out of battery, so I'm going to give you a little tour of our little home for the next week. Um, over here we have a, our sofa bed. If we have any guests come up, want to stay? This is the living room area. No. No. Um, you can't really see out; it's too dark. But it's a patio. And all right, okay. This is the dining room area. This is our kitchen. Comes equipped with a dishwasher. We've already had some dinner. We've just brought some frozen pizzas up, which we'll get. Let me see. It'll look nicer. In the, do you know what? It'll look nicer in the morning. Hopefully. Hopefully we'll have some wee rabbits to show you. Rabbits okay, and... that's boring. Dino. Dino. Why to her? Rabbit. Okay. In this cupboard. Angie, can you open for me? Yeah. Put a lot of bags in it and stuff, but this is where our wash machine is. Um, it's sort of like a little laundry room. Put the light on for me, Angie. No. Small bathroom. This is a little small toilet, WC. Boom. Um, in there, I'm not going to bother opening the cupboard. It's just a cleaning cupboard. Okay. Some tartan. I don't know if you can make it out in this, but some purple tartan carpet. And a little balcony for, I don't know. Why? Here's my room. We have. Is this as bright as it gets in here? Let's close that over. <laughs> okay. Some mirrored wardrobes. I don't know if you can see. A dressing to area. Another balcony. I will need to do a tour in the morning. This is far too dark. Bedroom. Put the light on in the bathroom. Yeah. I'll do a tour in the morning, this is far too dark. And here, let's see if this light goes on. Just leave it. And here is our ensuite shower room. Now, the place has changed.
quite a bit since um, I was here last when I was like 11. So, you know, 20 plus years ago. Anyway, um, that's just a, a drain so hair doesn't get clogged in it. Um, so, the master bedroom used to have a whirlpool bath in it. Don't have that anymore, it's just a shower room. And also downstairs, the coffee table was like a games table. You had chess and checkers and blackjack and was it not blackjack? Um, but there was like a little games table with stuff in it. The kitchen. Hello, Sarah. Okay, they're still unpacking. We've got a cot for Woo. the man. Sarah, say hi. Hiya. <laughs> this is Sarah. She's unpacking. Being a wee angel for me. And she's got a little dressing area. We've got chest of drawers. They've all got a like side table each. And the beds are nice and big and bouncy. Okay, their bathroom. I like the music too, by the way. That's a, a little boiler cupboard, I think. And this is sort of like the main bathroom if you want a bath. Alright. Well, I'm Check this wee cutie. <laughs> <laughs> With the best hair. <laughs> and me hiding behind the bin. That's my big girl. <laughs> Angie. Hi. Oh, John. John. Hiya. Hiya, sweetie. God bless the cook. Thanks for my lovely breakfast there. A bit too many beans. I'll be farting all day. Is that good, John? Like well, you've not been this morning. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> this is gift shop at Paradise. As far as animals concerned. See ya. Gorgeous. And we've got water wings. Yeah, swimming time. Hey, so I don't really have to bear grills it this week at all because Stephen gave me a razor, Sarah's packed deodorant and um, perfume and um, she's got pretty much everything I need uh, with regards to makeup um, except for eyeliner because she can't do eyeliner. I did go out and get myself fake tan which I've just done. Um, I put some fake tan on before I came here. Um, but it, I, I need to like top it up every other day because when you're going swimming and that and plus like one or two showers washes off my tan anyway um, and I'm super pale so I need to kind of keep it topped up um, so yeah um, I'll do my makeup and uh, with Sarah's stuff it's a mixture of cheap and high end and I'll, you can tell me what you think. I finished my makeup using Sarah's products and I'm really pleased with how it's turned out. Yeah, um, I'm having a McClimate tradition, which is aperitif before dinner. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just waiting for my dinner and probably should go and put some clothes on.
So when I did my makeup tonight, Sarah came up to me and she was like, do you have eyeliner on? Because... <laughs> Because she doesn't own eyeliner. Well, she does own eyeliner, but she didn't bring any because she doesn't know how to apply it. She finds it really difficult, as many people do. And I said, I just use your black eyeshadow to create a eyeliner, non-eyeliner effect. Um, so I did it with her. Now, the brushes that Sarah owns is is not, um, she doesn't own any blending brushes. I had to do makeup the night with like a, a an eyeshadow brush, it's, it's not very dense. And so I applied the eyeshadow on with that and then I buffed it out um, because it's kind of fluffy. <laughs> so um, that's what I did. Um, and this is her eyes. Ooh, check it out. No. Okay. I have been doing my homework um, for my dancing with Sarah, so I'm going to show you what we've been working on. This is Lorna Burns's choreography. everyone so I just realized um, when I was watching back the videos tonight that when I was explaining what I did with the eyeliner I sort of said that the brush I used was um, Sarah's brushes and they were like eyeshadow brushes that um, weren't quite dense and I used them like a blending brush and an eyeshadow brush but that's not what I used for the eyeliner I used this you know kind of flat kind of thin I wet it first as well and um, applied the eyeshadow with the wet brush and um, it's dirty we are about to clean our brushes because we clean our brushes every night so we can create different looks and not have mixed eyeshadow in with the color that we actually want especially when you've used black on it um, so everyone's in bed, bar me and Sarah. We're still up. Woo! <laughs> Come on in, Sarah. Woo! Um, so we're going to watch a movie. We're watching the new Leo movie because we need a bit of talent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of eye candy for us tonight. Um, yeah. So...
We're just back from Tesco um, doing a little shop and we asked for a bag for life and it's 50 pence for a bag for life up here and the little old woman who was serving us like, well don't, don't spend your 50 pence on a bag, just go and get, there's boxes there so apparently that's what you do up here is you pack your bag with boxes and I'm going to show you, so this is how we did our shopping the day in boxes. We're here. So we're going out for lunch, there's a little pizzeria at the end of the road um, and it's just going to be a really laid back, easy day today. I think after we're being for lunch we're going to go for a swim um, and we're not really going to do anything tonight, um, no alcohol, we're going up to the mountain tomorrow skiing so um, we want to be fresh and up early for that. We're so, going on the piece tomorrow. We're going on the what? The beast. Am I slow? I don't get that. I will slow. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, we're in Butch Call, just go watch a movie and get munchies and I'm gonna have a bath and do my nails and my tan. This is why Scotland is one of the most beautiful countries to live in. It's just gorgeous. It's that grave on your wedding day. Say hi, John. You going on a play date? Say bye bye. We're off to the mountains. Um, I've got my Alanis Morissette hat on, and yeah. So we're on our way up for our lesson. Um, the lesson is. 10 to 12 then we stop for lunch and then we do um one two three um 
so it was originally meant to be it's, it was a group lesson but no one had booked in so we were getting a private but yesterday somebody booked in when we went to collect all our stuff so that's okay um, this is the closest resort to the mountain so it shouldn't take us long to get there really really disappointing and um, we got up here and the winds are 60 70 miles an hour on the mountain and they're not letting us ski well certain parts of the mountain are open but it's really you know people that know what they're doing are going up and um, steph is struggling to stand up so there's no way that angela would be able to stand up angela's now put off she doesn't want to ski anymore we're rescheduling for hopefully maybe tomorrow or Saturday but Angela doesn't want to go up anymore <laughs> the bad weather's put her off so um, I'm so cold um, up in that mountain I've got my dressing gown on on top of my clothes I had to go from the um, after walking from the car to the cafe up in the mountains I had to go and buy um, proper gloves because I, I had leather gloves and I was like oh that'll do leather gloves waterproof um, my fingers were numb absolutely numb it is so cold out there Angela she's getting booked into the McDonald's suite we still don't know about if we can get John in there so we're probably just going to um, see if we can get him booked into the nursery that he was in today in the resort here um, so I need to quickly eat my hot dog and go and get that done get that sorted and tomorrow it's meant to be really windy again but it's do or die because we're leaving on Sunday so and Saturday's fully booked for lessons, so we have to just, you know, get crack on with it. Bye. I've got John, a wee Highland Coo. Yeah, here's the stuff that you can get. See if you can see. You've got little huskies around here. The full squirrels. And, of course, Baby Bambi, little Bambi, but we've gone for the coo. See if you can hear it. <laughs> Just back from a swim in a sauna, so we're going to have a early dinner and um, I'm starting with my specialty which is bagels, cream cheese, and salmon. Mm. And then we're having haggis and um, ice cream and red velvet cookies. Yeah. Okay, so me and Stephen are anti-microwave. We don't cook anything in the microwave, but um, because we're on holiday and we don't have tin foil and stuff, we're cooking our haggis in the microwave. Um, plus, um, we're being really lazy because we're on holiday, so we've got like pre mashed potatoes that you cook in the microwave, and our veg is in the microwave. The shame, the shame of it. He's left me in charge. This is our whiskey cream sauce. Love this stuff. Um, wish I knew how to make it. It's beautiful. So, uh, he has to go to the shops to get milk, baby wipes and some pack lunch stuff for the guys tomorrow. So, okay, I'm going to see how this microwave dinner works out. Chopped it up, nine minutes. Choreographer, Ronald Barnes. I went to the moped store. I said, fuck it. The salesman's like, what up? What's your budget? 
Like, honestly, I don't know nothing about my pants. He said, I got the one for you. Follow me. Ooh, that's too real. Come down here, I don't need no way machine. But then I see, I can't be on two wheels. 800 cash, that's a hell of a deal. I'm oh, headed downtown. text from the skiing instructor the weather is really bad he wants us to go to ski school um, it doesn't look good I don't think we're going to be skiing today either skiing instructor just phoned us there everything um, in the, the mountain has been cancelled um, he just got confirmation there so it is a no-go <coughs> and it's fully booked tomorrow so we just have to return all our stuff it's a bit of a bummer um, yeah, Sarah, she doesn't need um, skiing instructions and she's got a pass to go up but Steph doesn't want her going up the mountain herself tomorrow um, so no one is skiing So this little retreat was given to me by my mum and dad for our anniversary and um, I've been keeping this lovely um, champagne tassengers uh, from my uncle Huey and Auntie Mary uh, for coming away up here. So tonight is going to be like date night with the family. Uh, we've booked in at the, the restaurant over at the Hilton Colnbridge Hotel and I'm looking forward to it so cheers to 15 years I've just cleaned my plate as you can see that was absolutely delicious the, the fam all having theirs thumbs up
So when we got in last night, John was violently sick everywhere. Um, but here we go now. He's as bright as a button. Yes, he is. <laughs> yeah, we sold. So John was violently sick again when I stopped filming all over me. So all last night when we got in, we were stripping cots and today all we've been doing is stripping beds. So me and Steph, we're away to get a laundry because there's no way that little washer dryer is going to get through all these clothes for us going home tomorrow. Um, we're sort of, last day is always like a weird day. Um, you're not quite in the mindset of you just want to get home yet. That'll be tomorrow morning. Um, but still, you know, it's you've got a lot of packing and a lot of stuff to do that you know you kind of just want to get over and done with. Um, so, yeah. Last day. Homeward bound. <laughs> 